In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate uh, group policies in Windows Server 2008. So I've opened my server manager, server manager. I'm in Windows Server 2008, and you can see that I have some OUs, and my uh, my domain is danscourses.local here, right? And in there, I've got some OUs. I've got one OU called classes, because I teach classes. And then I've got a couple of OUs within the classes OU called one's called security and one calls Windows Server. In the security OU, if I click on it, you see there's a, a sample student called student one, who's a user in that um, security uh, uh, in the security OU. So what I want to do is I want to create a group policy for this OU. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my group policy management, go to administrative tools and go to group policy management opens up this window right here and I'm going to go into uh, I want to do this in security so I'm going to right click on security there's the OU and create a GPO in this domain so I'll click on that and I'll call it um, let's see here security policy Okay, and I'll click OK. All right, and now if I open this um, security OU, you can see there's my policy right there. It's built, and now I, all I need to do is edit it, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on the policy now and click Edit. And I have two areas that I can um, edit the policy with. I can edit computer configurations, which will affect um, computers in this um, OU, or I could create a user configuration changes or edits in the group policy, which will affect all users um, in this OU. So either uh, computers in the OU or users in the OU and uh, this, the security setting. So I'm going to open up the user one here and I'll go in there and see the policies and then um, their software settings could change software installation, um, security, group policy, uh, Windows settings, and then I'm going to go to administrative templates. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some heavy security on this user so that they cannot have access. So the users in this OU will not have access to any removable media, meaning um, any type of device where they could store data. Let's pretend that in this, um, in this network, in this domain, it's highly secure. We don't want any of the workers um, taking information out of the, um, off the company network and taking it uh, outside of the building. So it's all secure to the building. So let's say here I wanted to do that. Well, I'd go in here then to user configuration. I'm in administrative templates right here. And I'm gonna go to system, open up system. I'll slide this over and you can see here down here there's one called removable storage access so I'll select that and on the right hand side it has different um, different uh, aspects of policies that I can affect so I could deny tape drives I could deny uh, read or write access to floppy drives um, things like that so you can see here it says all removable storage classes deny all access so what I'll do is, is I'll double click on this and it will help me to deny access to any removable storage so that any of the users on the computers in the domain would not be able to, let's say, copy information to uh, a CD or DVD or a USB thumb drive. So I'll double click on that and it opens up this window and I'm just going to click enable. All removable storage classes deny all access. And there's an explanation of it in here, enabled. And now I can close that and close that and now I should be good so what I need to do now is so I'll go to start and what I will do is I'll say GP update space forward slash force to force this update to the policy out and it'll update the policy and now we can test it out on a client computer and see if the uh, if the update did in fact take effect all right user update 
user policy update has completed successfully. And once again, in the security, we have a student one user, so we will log in with this user and see if, that, um, if the policy has been um, put into effect. Okay, when I went back to my client, I saw that the policy had not taken. And so now I wanna tell you why that is, make sure that you don't make the same mistake I did. You can see here that under, under this OU, we've got the two OUs here, and each one has a security policy. If you click on the security policy, you can actually see your policies here. You can open them up and you can see what's happened. Now, if, if there's no settings defined, if you see this under computer configuration and user configuration, then there is no settings defined. And that's what I saw when I went there under security policy, both sides said no settings defined. Well, what happened was, is I had edited the policy, right? So I had edited the policy under user, under Windows settings, no, under administrative templates, under system, and under removable storage access. And I open this one up right here, remove access to all storage classes, deny all access. I clicked enable, but I didn't because it was off screen because it, I forgot to click OK here. And so then that didn't happen. So what I did was is I went back, click enabled, click OK, right? Then I did another GP update, space forward slash force, just like that, right? To update the policy, right? And everything worked better. And then at the end, to make sure that the policy did in fact take, I went up to, um, let's see here, I went over to the server here, the domain, the domain controller, and went to refresh, and refreshed, and then sure enough, then when I clicked on the security policy, you could see that in fact there was a policy defined there. So now I'll go to the client and see if we can get it to work. Okay, I'm logged in as student one on a client computer. And just to show you, just to prove it, I'm gonna right click on my computer here. And you can see here that the domain is danscourses.local. So I am logged in to the domain. And then if you go to start menu, you can see up here that this is in fact student one that we're talking about, right? So it's a student one. Um, so I'm logged in to the domain and we'll see if we have restricted access to all removable media through the group policies. So I'll go to computer and then here's the DVD drive and I should double click on it and it says insert a disc. So that's not a very good sign. It should give me some um, restricted access to it. So how about let's try um, putting in a USB drive into it, put the USB drive in, and there it is, open folder to view files, and you can see there that it is in fact inaccessible, so I don't have access to the USB drive. Let's see if we in fact do have access to the CD-ROM too. Okay, I've put a CD into the drive here, and as you can see, I am unable to bring up the files. Um, I'm not getting any access to the folder on the CD. So I'm trying to open it up to view the files and I cannot get any access and definitely cannot, I've even gotten inaccessible when trying to add files to burn to them um, that gives me a restricted, so a message. So I, do not have access to removable media on the laptop, so the GPO in fact worked.